Hello everybody, this is Vincent from Affiliate Theme IO, and in this video we're going to take our first steps with the Affiliate Theme. So before we can actually start working with the Affiliate Theme, we have to download and activate it. So you have to log in into the dashboard of Affiliate Theme IO on our website and click on the right side here on Downloads and then a list of download links will appear and we will start with the first one affiliate theme so let's just click download and the file is downloaded to our PC please also take into consideration if you directly click the zip file with Mac OS so with the Mac machine just like that it will unzip automatically so as you can see now you have two file two files here no excuse me there is one folder and one file and actually we want to upload just the zip file so please take that into consideration that you don't upload the folder I'm just going to delete it now so we don't get confused and just use the zip file so if you click it sometimes it unzips and you have finally a folder but please just use the zip file so after we downloaded the affiliate theme we have to upload it to our WordPress system as we already discussed in the first chapter, there are two ways to upload and install a theme in WordPress. So first of all, you can do it here in the back end of WordPress, here in themes, you can just add a new theme. Or you can do it via FTP with an FTP client such as FileZilla and upload the files manually. So for this example, we're just going to install it via WordPress backend. So we click add new and click upload theme, choose file. We go to downloads where we have our affiliate theme. And please take into consideration that this file has to be a zip file. So don't unzip it before you upload it. Just keep it as a zip file and click open and click install. So this might take some seconds so um, when the theme is installed we have to enter our license key so we're going to do that in a few seconds but first of all let's click activate because this will make our theme appear and work together with our WordPress system. If you don't activate it, still one of the default themes from WordPress will actually define the appearance of your website. So now we have the affiliate theme activated and installed. So now we have to activate our affiliate theme. Obviously, in order for all functions to work, the theme has to be activated after you purchased it. So um, you will be prompted with such a notification that you still have to activate it. If this notification does not appear, you can simply go to appearance and then to license. And here you can enter the license key. So I have it already saved, but I will show you where to find it. So this time you have to go to purchase history in the dashboard of your affiliate theme.io. And then you go to view licenses and then you click manage site and there you have your license key so you're just going to copy and paste this into the field in wordpress and click save changes first of all so the license is already saved and then you click activate license let's see if it works yes it worked so this is very important that you click activate license because otherwise your website is not going to work so after we activated our, our theme now, we will install something else in our system. And this is the child theme of the affiliate theme we installed earlier. So in a previous video, in the first chapter, I talked about the advantages of a child theme. So please just check out chapter 1.2 to get further information about child themes and the general advantages of that idea so let's 
go back to the affiliate theme IO website and click again on downloads. And this time we're choosing the second download link to find the chart theme. So now again, the same principle as with the regular theme, we're going to appearance themes and we click add new and again, upload theme. And we can just this time drag and drop the file here and click install now. So, and again, we're going to click activate. And now we have the child theme activated. So let's talk about one other thing. And this is the forum we have. So if you purchased a single license or above, you have access to the support forum right here uh, under your dashboard. So if you need any assistance um, or you have a problem you can solve, you can just uh, go to the support forum and um, ask whatever question comes to your mind. Um, but there are certain rules you should take into consideration when posting in the forum. So as you can see currently, we are already inside the forum actually in the English version of the forum from Affiliate Theme IO. So as you can see, the first part of the forum is actually in German and the second part provided down here is in English and uh, there are already a couple of posts made. So you might already find something regarding um, the problem you, you face. Um, so I just want to give you some advice as how to post in that forum. Um, and those advices will make it easier for us to find a solution for your problem and also it will be much faster for you if you just provide the informations properly. So first of all, um, choose um, the right section here. So if it concerns, for instance, exactly the affiliate theme and not any kind of uh, extension or maybe an off topic thing, you just click here. and. As I said, there are already a couple of posts inside here. And also you can use the search function here. And this is really important. Just search for the problem you have. Try, try to be as precise as possible and maybe you will already find something. Um, because usually uh, people face the same problems. That's why we have this forum. So uh, it doesn't get redundant at the end of the day. Okay, so let's assume your problem is not covered by any post inside our forum, then you just scroll down here to this post section here and you have to give a couple of informations. So first of all, you just have to give a catchy title so everybody knows what it is about. Uh, and second of all, you have to give the debug information, then you describe the problem itself and then you can still give some text. Um, so as you can see here on the right side, for example, we have some text such as Amazon or filter, for example, layout logo, etc., um, which makes it again easier to uh, digest the problem. So um, we're just going to have a dummy title here, but the very important part is this debug information. So this debug information actually comes from your WordPress backend. So you go inside your WordPress backend and you choose the last button down here, which is called debug. And at the top of the debug section, you have some information inserted here and you can just copy it, go to the forum and paste it. So, so now already we have a brief overview of what kind of system you use, what kind of versions there are, what server specifications you have. So we can already narrow down the problem. So after you did that, you're just going to um, uh, describe your problem and maybe give some text such as logo. Uh, and also you can click here, notify me or follow up replies via email. So if somebody replies, 
being it the administrator or another user, user of the affiliate theme, you will be notified. And in addition, you can um, upload an attachment. This is, for example, sends for a screenshot if you have some visual problems.